A storm was brewing on the island of Sodor. All the engines were rushing to make sure that everyone got home in time. Guaranteed connections such as Thomas and Edward were often delayed because of the storm, and so they had to hurry to make up for lost time. Oh my, I've seen many storms in my day, but not one like this. Don't worry, it takes a lot of wind to push down a steam locomotive, Edward. Oh, so I see you've forgotten about our near miss back on the furnace railway. Hey, rain was obscuring your cab windows, it wasn't my fault. Things weren't better at Tidmouth Sheds. The wind was stronger there. You know, guys, um, I've been thinking about the, uh, Flying Scotsman. Huh? What do you mean? Don't mainland engines usually stay over on Sodor? Oh, no. You'll be blown down by the storm. But what do you care, Golden? Think you'll, like, get rid of him or something? Thomas, you are far too young to understand. Go and listen here, I was built in 1915, like five years before they even started on you. Calm down, you do. Once the storm passes, we can go look for him. There's no time. I'll just have to look for him myself. What, Gordon? Surely you're not. I am. I wonder what's going to happen to him. Uh, he should be fine. And so should we, as long as there's no lightning. Thanks for jinxing us, Henry. Uh, you're welcome, James. Thomas said that, not me. Oh, sorry. It's kinda dark in here. I can't see anything. Meanwhile, Gordon was rushing down the line, hoping to catch a glimpse of Flying Scotsman. Scotsman, where are you? Where are you? If I don't find him soon, I'll be in big trouble. Gordon was too busy looking for the flying Scotsman that he didn't see that a tree had crashed onto his line. Which was right next to the flying Scotsman. Hello, Scotsman. Gordon, oh, thank goodness I found him. Oh! <laughs> At least we're together. <laughs> my tenders, they're ruined, you gr silly engine. You've damaged my tenders, and now I look silly. Wait, wh wh what? I came all the way to look for you, and this is what I get? Any responsible engine would know it's dangerous to go out in a storm. What the... D oh. Gordon and Flying Scotsman argued even after the storm had gone away. Edward had come to take Gordon to the works to be mended. Because of the lightning strike, the lights on the works were very dim. But Gorin could still see, and he was happy to see an old friend. Oh, hello, Duke. How are you? I'm fine, and how are you? Uh, not so good. That brother of mine's a real pain in the tender. Flying Scotsman? Oh, I've heard about him. He's the one who's boasting about his so-called speed record, isn't it? Yes. He's more annoying than Percy before the single incident. Hmm. That's a tough one. I don't have a brother, so I don't know how to help. But I think it's best if you just forget he existed. But he's still my brother. Of course I can't forget about him. Hmm. That would never suit his grace, all that boasting. But I'm sure things are going to brighten up soon. You just wait and see. I hope you're right.
right. Because I think I saw him with a sly look on his face when Edward took me here. Oh, I'm sure it was nothing. But Gordon knew that Duke was wrong. Flying Scotsman was up to something, and he knew that it wasn't going to be pretty.